Hello everyone, welcome to Jack's Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. I have a Calico Collage June Design Team project to share with you. The design kit was the beekeeper this for the month of June, and I was really excited to create something for that because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really love bees. It goes back to my childhood days, and so I wanted to create something that um, projected bees and I came up with this cute little honey journal it's a honey jar journal and I was able to finally use my really large bee charm here I'm so happy to do that so this is what I've created to share with you today I'm going to go over some of the um, elements in the journal, but I will be listing all of the supplies that I use down below as well as links to Calico Collage and um, everything else that you might need. So for the cover, I used um, heavy cardstock as well as um, scrapbook paper and that made it really thick, which I like that. And um, I used some cheesecloth here and did some layering and then I did some embossing on the bee as well as the beekeeping name here. I added some fabric that I had in my stash and I added some burlap twine. On the back side I added some more fabric and this little bitty label here so that I could put like homemade by Jack Scraps on it. I thought that was cute and mirrored the front. Okay, so let's go in and see what we have. So when I created the journal, I made it large enough so that it would fit my journaling pages as well as provide a spot to have a pen inside. So I created a little loop here using some stretch lace and um, so you can easily take this in and out. The journal will come with a pen of your color I just used this one because I thought it matched everything so well. So the journal covers themselves are eight and a half by five and a half, but the pages are seven and a fourth by five and a half. On the inside cover, I used a library pocket and decorated that as well as use this library card that I got from Target and used some Scotch washi there. I used a die cut to cut out these honeycomb shapes. And here is the kit. I did some Wink of Stella on this page. On this page, I did some fussy cutting here to pull the flowers over onto this one, as well as some stamping there. This kit is beautiful. It was hard to cover up the pages. <laughs> On this one, I did create a pocket and I put a little, you know, cut out here so that your thumb could get in there. And this is some paper that I had in my stash. I will link this down below. And I used some of that green paper that we all love. I got this from Amazon. Now I did do some stamping here of some flowers, but I used gold so you may not be able to see it really well. I think I'll put those back later. Here on the next page you have lots of writing space, which is awesome. I love how she created a design that allowed you to have writing. So here we created, I created some pockets. This is elements from the kit. Now I did some sewing. I did some decorative sewing here and then straight stitched the rest of the way around and then I added some coffee dyed paper on the back for writing. You could also do writing here if you wanted on the back side. Now here I did a half of pocket and I put in another of that paper pad that I had because it just went so well with this kit. Here's another great page for journaling. I did just add a little flag here. This is um, glued all the way down. Here's another top pocket here and another little journaling card that I did some decorative stamp, uh, sewing and then added some coffee dye paper on the back as well. 
On this page, I added some fabric as well as I cut out one of the little bees that looked like a button and did some glossy accents on that. I really love those little buttons. On this page, again, I used that die. I love this. And did some decorating. And when I cut this out, it left this image on the paper and I liked it so much I wanted to use it. So once you cut this out, this is what you were left with. So I love that decorative pocket there. And this cute little journaling card. On this page, I just added a little bit of fabric there. Created a long belly band here, added some lace fabric and created this cute little booklet Again, using cheesecloth and some elements from the kit. And this is tea dye, or coffee dyed paper. Over here I just did some layering, again with the die cut out of the honeycomb there. Created a little pocket here and she had these cute little slum tags in her kit, love that. And I did some stamping here. This is from Maggie Holmes Stamps. More sunshine and flowers. On this side, I created a little flag tuck with a B, and I used another one of those skinny tags and cut it down a little bit to fit right here. Again, these pages are so beautiful, it's hard to cover them up. I created a little pocket out of this page as well. And here is the tag for that. You could put pictures on this and write on them as well. For this element, this is what it looked like in the kit and I did some fussy cutting around it so that you would have more detail. And then I did some embossing on the bees. I used clear embossing. I love that. And then I did leave this one B that was on here so that it would give dimension. For these little tags, I created just like a little booklet of tags, shrunk down one of the pages. Use some of these are elements from the kit. Very cute. Over here, I. Um, created a flip and here's that scotch washi tape again on this page what I did was I had the page once cut it out again and then I created a cutout of the page so when you lift this up you would actually see the same image down below and put a little tab here on this little journaling card I think that looks so cute and then just tuck that right in there Over here, I did some glossy accents on that little button, and I adhered this flag all the way down. But here's some great journaling spots. Now over here, I took a glassing envelope, I wound it through an embossing folder that I had that was for honeycombs and bees, and then I put some gold shimmer on that. On the inside is a journaling card. And then I actually added some more of the kit here. And here is a tag from the kit. Very cute. I actually cut this down to fit here. Over here I just added a little bit of fabric and created a pocket. And here's the pocket. I added some homemade paper on this side for writing. Now on this, this is, this page has some fun elements that I really like. So I created, like th these two pages were so beautiful I didn't really want to cover them. But I found a way to do it that actually enhanced them. So I printed this out again, cut out some of these little honeycomb shapes, put it down here for a little pocket. And I had this little bitty tag from the kit, added some fabric here. And on the back I made a little pocket 
And then I took one of my coffee dyed pages that were just a little scrap, added a B to it. And so now you have like this cute little booklet that you can do some secret writing on and that just tucks right in there. On this side, what I did was, this is the vintage vocabulary cards that has the German um, definition on the other side. And I added a napkin with some Mod Podge here and there, add a little brad here, this button brad. And so I added some coffee dyed paper of the same size, and so it flips out so you can do some writing. But just looking at it, you wouldn't know that there was paper back there. So it's kind of secretive writing. And here is the German um, vocabulary as well. Now, when I attach this, I use clear photo corners so that it's kind of just floating on there doesn't impinge on the decorative page, but how cute is this? <laughs> I love it. Our next page is a great place for journaling. I did just add a little bit of washi to make it look like it was holding the page down. Create This was an element in the kit and I created a side pocket out of that. This was in the kit as well. I love this page so that you can mark the month and day and year on it and do some journaling. Now on this page, I did something different as well. I took different pages from the kit. I just snipped them out and then I tore them the length of the page. And um, I adhered every other one. So to make like little pockets. So first let me take out the journaling cards that I added. Here I added index, coffee dyed index cards to both of these. Really cute. So here you can see the page a little bit more. So here I made this like a pocket, only glued it on the edge, so this is open. Glued this one completely down. This one is open, only glued on the ends. This one's all the way down. This one's open from here to there because I added this cute little sentiment and glued this one all the way down. That way you had some every other kind of glued down. So then you can just tuck these right underneath those that are open and create this cute little design. I love that. On this page, I did just add some fabric and this cute little flower. Here is a poem that's included in the kit. I love this page. Over here, I kind of wanted to um, separate the two pages, and so I added a piece of ledger paper and one of the elements from the kit as like a half page. And here's the other one, and I created a pocket out of this page. And here is this. Did a little bit of collaging here with a doily and a stamp that I got from AliExpress. Added some paper on the back and one of a die cut B that I had. On the next page, we have more journaling. On this page, I uh, cut out a envelope on my Cricut so that you could do some hidden journaling here. And I only sealed it on three sides so I could use a top pocket. This is a card from the kit. And a saying from the kit as well. I cut this little bit out of one of the poems. It says, away in the meadow amid the red clover. And I have a little bee here that I put some embossing powder on. I didn't do anything to this beautiful page. Here's some more journaling with some washi. On this page I added some crocheted lace as well as some burlap and some twine to hold this vintage slide mount and um, I added scrapbook paper to the front and the back of it to give it a bit of a modern look and added the B in the center. And on the last page here, I thought it was kind of fitting. It says, a journal devoted to bees, honey, and home interest. And I thought that was a nice way to close it up as if it summed up what the journal composed of. On the back cover, I created my own library pocket 
and added this from the kit, just a little bit of a cutout, and did some layering again with some crocheted lace and pieces from the kit. And there's the lovely pen and the back. So that's my design team project. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did in creating it. And um, if you stay tuned, I have a silent walkthrough of the journal as well as images of all the kit pieces. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you next time.